Hi, my name is Mariana. I am a vlogger in Japan and I work as a model and I'm here today. You said where are you from? Oh, I am actually from England, but originally I am from Uzbekistan. Oh, Uzbekistan, yeah. okay. <laughs> really far. <laughs> so when did you come here? I mean, when um, did you come to Tokyo? I came here last summer. Last so, summer? Yeah, I got here just before the really big heat wave mm -hmm. hit. So my first impression of Japan was how hot it is. <laughs> and I wasn't expecting it to be so hot, but yeah. it was... It was very hot last summer. In England, when it's hot, or even in Uzbekistan, when it's hot, the heat is very dry. Yeah, yeah. But in Japan, it's so humid, it feels right. tropical. Shokuzenshu, it's like kind of alcohol before mm -hmm. you eat. Mm. Oh, it's nice. So, you say like you are vegetarian? I'm vegetarian, yes. Okay. This restaurant is kind of a vegetarian restaurant. Mm -hmm. We call it like a shoujin yori. Oh, right, so Buddhist style. クイズインいやいやカルフはいやベジタリアンクイズインインジャパンはいこちらのお前菜の方がタケ豆腐になっておりましてはい。真ん中にお醤油がとあとお皿の中のお醤油が入ってますのでこちらのタケツツの中に両
Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was so happy. Like I, would, I, I saw Sailor Moon. I was like, wow, that's my dream. I just want to visit Japan. Okay. But as I grew up, I went to university. Yeah. And I studied geography. Yeah. And I specialized looking at like Japanese topography mm -hmm. and geography of Japan and because Japan is so geographically interesting mm -hmm. um, I really go into like the nature oh, okay. um, so after university I had like a realization like I should really go out and mm -hmm. do what I really want to do which is explore Japan and explore different countries and mm -hmm. I decided to start the application process yeah, a very yeah. long application process to move to Japan mm -hmm. And I, w I was unbelievably happy when I got here. Everything's interesting, everything's new, everything's different. Um, the food here, even though I'm more limited, is better than any other food that I've tried mm. anywhere else in the world. Oh. Um, and geographically, it's, it's fascinating. Like, I've just got back from Hokkaido. Oh, I really? could not believe how incredible, like, how incredibly different Hokkaido was from, like, you know, the Kansai area. It was just so interesting to yeah, me. Yeah. Two days in Sapporo mm -hmm. and one day in Furano. So mm. went to the Furano, the farm oh, area. There was nobody there. There was empty. Like Hokkaido <laughs> was so empty. <laughs> but Furano was beautiful because uh -huh. it's like lavender season. Uh, lavender, yes, mm. yes. Interesting. Yeah. Mm, that's my favorite. Mm. Mushrooms. Eh, manaka ni arimasu no ga tomorokoshi ni arimasu. Tomorokoshi agetta mono ni natte masu. Ima agetta te desu no de kochira kara meshi agatte kudasai. で、このホースキの中には山物の実が入ってますんで、中だけこう開いて召し上がってください。わお。うん。うん。あ、of you can like smell the mm -hmm. flavor, it's really weird, it's cool. The underneath it's a skin of the potato, so you oh, cannot what? eat it. That like brown one is a skin. Oh you can't so eat, you you can't eat, eat that. Yeah. Oh that's, that's another strange <laughs> texture. It's quite odd. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> I don't hate it. Yeah yeah. It's just different. Mm-hmm. Mm. Nasu is cool. Hi, come on nasu de Eggplant. Looks like a meat. <laughs> it does look like meat. When I first saw it, I was like, is that meat? And I was like, no, she said, she said nasu. That's eggplant. Mm. Like autumn. Mm. I mean, you live in London. I li uh, no, I lived in London and then I moved to Leeds uh, for my university. Okay. Leeds is in uh, Yorkshire. Yorkshire? Mm -hmm. If I go to your hometown, mm -hmm. which tourist place is recommended by you? Which, uh, like, like in, in England or in, in England? Ah, okay, maybe both. Okay, in Samarkand, uh, well, probably um, I recommend the markets. Samarkand used to be part of the Silk Route, so you know, uh, like the China Silk Route. We oh, Silk Route. Yeah, the trade. Okay, okay. Um, so you you'd find a lot of like scarves there and everything else, and don't forget to like haggle. You have to haggle. Uh huh. So like Negotiation. bring the pr negotiations, yeah. yeah. Try and bring the price down. Yeah. It's it's very customary there to do that. Um, so go to the markets and just haggle, like negotiate the price. Um, try shashlik, which obviously I can't eat it now, but it's it's something that's very very popular um. in Samarkand, and it's basically meat on skewers. Yeah. Um, Samarkand, yeah. Is it the capital of Uzbekistan? No, the capital of Uzbekistan is Tashkent. So Samarkand, Samarkand is actually one of the uh, top five oldest cities in the whole world. Oh really? Yeah, it's wow. very, very old. It's very historic. Oh. Um, and another thing I recommend you try is something we call plov. So that's like um, rice. I think it's like slow cooked and the meat is slow cooked as well. So mm -hmm. there's meat in the rice and it's like tender. It's, oh. really, it's got carrots in it. Um, it's a very hearty dish and we eat it during celebration. So. Oh, pita. Plov. Plov. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you familiar with it? Yeah, yeah, we also eat. We call it pilaf. Pilaf? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, Uzbek people are very welcoming. They love food, they love to have people over, oh. um, drink like some tea with yeah, them. Yeah. It's, it's really good. Yeah, and then Leeds. Mm. Leeds is a student city. So yeah. if you want to go to good bars and clubs, I'd say go to Leeds. Oh. We also have a few art galleries there. Um, but if you want to see more of like the historic culture yeah. of England, I strongly recommend something maybe like York. 
Um, and it's very close to Leeds. You can just hop on the train and mm -hmm. it doesn't take long at all. We have York, we have Harrogate. The Harrogate has a, like a little forest. It's, it's, a, it's almost like a village in a way. It's, it's very nice. It's a, it's a really relaxing, peaceful area. Very beautiful. Oh, wow. Have you been to America? Yeah, yeah, I've been to America. Where did you go in America? California. Oh, wow. I've never been. But I'd I like see. to visit California. What was your impression of California? Yeah, I feel like mm -hmm. uh, people are very friendly, mm -hmm. open mind. People speak very loud. No, really? <laughs> it's really complicated. Mm -hmm. but in a good way, even bus drivers talk to a lot of strangers. In, in, in England, when yeah. you go on the train or the bus and somebody sits next to you, it's not that unusual. Mm -hmm. It might not be very pleasant for some people, like some people just want to be left alone, but it's not very unusual for somebody to like say something to you mm -hmm. and just strike up a conversation. So when I came to Japan last year mm -hmm. and I got on a train and I saw how quiet everything was, I was like, <laughs> This is amazing. <laughs> no one is speaking to me. <laughs> yeah, but I, I liked it. I liked it because I could relax and I could listen to my music and, yeah. and not bother anybody. But in the UK, there's always a chance somebody oh. might sneak up on you and say something. Yeah. Yeah. Do we take this out? Yeah, because I, I don't think I can eat it. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Hold on. Mm, it's a bit. <laughs> so how long are you gonna stay in Japan? I, I am moving on to a different visa at, uh, in around October, so oh. I think in um, September I'm yeah. going to go home for like two weeks yeah, yeah. and then come back here again and just stay for the next half a year, two okay. years maybe. Yeah, there's, there's a lot to see in Japan and I, I don't know if I, if I want to stay here forever, mm -hmm. I'm not thinking about that, it's mm -hmm. just for the time being, well, my work is here and mm -hmm. I have opportunities here and I enjoy living here. Oh, it's so little. It's so yeah, little. yeah. <laughs> it's so small. Wow. Oh, ginger. Mmm. It's it smells stronger than it tastes. Mmm, that's good. So it's like a soup with rice and then mushrooms. Yeah. Wow. Mmm, that's good. Mm. Well, that is definitely a flavor you can only find in Japan. Mm. Like, I've, I would never try this anywhere else. Did you eat mela when you were in Hokkaido? I did, I yes. did. Because my, like, my Japanese subscribers are like, you need to try Hokkaido melon, Hokkaido dairy, yeah. and Hokkaido potato. Mm. And I couldn't try the Hokkaido potato, there was, there was not enough time. Mm -hmm. um, but I tried the melon and it was delicious. It was very sweet. Is this melon from Hokkaido? I think so. This <gasps> one is yubari, oh. yubari melon. It's so dark in color. Mmm. It's so sweet. Mm. The only other time I have tried melon like this mm -hmm. or similar flavor to this was in Uzbekistan mm -hmm. because we have so many fruits and vegetables there. Um, but in the UK, y you can't taste the same sweetness. Mm. So this is this is so good. Thank you so much, Daisuke, for inviting me here. The food was delicious. Um, I highly recommend anyone who's watching this to come here and try this for yourself. It was very, very tasty. So thank you for watching and subscribe to Tokyo Food Adventures. Thank you.